Hello, it's me. Uh, this uh, part of the video I did many, many hours after the other part of the video that you're about to watch. However, uh, I have some um, pretty important and pretty good news which I will let you know about at the end of the video. So please watch all the way through so you can get all my good news at the end. Talk to you later. Enjoy. Good day to you and uh, welcome to the channel once again another little video um, to bring you up to date with things really I, I think it's important to to bring you up to date as far as the fact that last week I was telling you that I was going to be doing recipes and I haven't done any and there's a, a good reason for that I seem to be struggling with <laughs> with that when it comes to introducing food into the diet I really shouldn't be doing it. I don't really want to put too much temptation in my way and I feel that uh, cooking um, is going to do exactly that. Um, it's going to encourage me to to be thinking more and more about food and less about the meal replacements that I'm trying to or succeeding with. For the time being that's on hold. I'm a, As you know I'm around about 149 kilos. I think once I can get down to 125, 120, something like that, then I think we're going to start to think about introducing more in the way of grub. At the moment, um, I think what we've got is we've got a, a wide range of meals available to me, um, a wide range of formats of meals um, available to me. There are, I don't know, 10 or 15 different soups to try. There are uh, half a dozen ready meals to make up and mix up. There are 20 odd different flavors of shakes at least, and there are at least 20 different um, uh, flavors of bar. Um, plus you've got things like the dals and stuff like that. But anyway, let's, let's have a bit of a chat about my favorites. In the morning, you can't beat this for convenience and you can't beat it for its taste as well. And the consistency, because quite often people worry about uh, if you're going to eat porridge, it ends up being lumpy and some of it's dry in the middle. And this, I, I just top it up, fill this one up or pour it into a mug and then top it up. Um, give it a good stir and it, it will settle itself down. And by the time it's cool enough to eat, it's all um, thickened up considerably uh, and is a, a lovely tasting porridge. The cinnamon flavour uh, is exactly what you need. I'd like one that was maybe in a pot. I know there's one in a packet, but I'd like one that was um, maybe maple syrup or something like that. But that said, if you've got one in a sachet, what's the problem with pouring that into a mug and then putting a water on top of that? I'm not really sure. Lunchtime favourite, my soup. This one is red Thai chicken, and this one is my favourite because on top of here, I put some of my hot sauce. And when I put my hot sauce in there, wonderful things happen. Um, I've got a hot and spicy soup. Uh, that's really nourishing. It's got everything I need in there. Um, I thought that was one thing I wanted to speak about. I, I, I watch another channel, uh, another Insanti uh, Dieters channel, on a frequent basis, and she's doing very, very well. Um, she's lost twenty-two pounds in two weeks. I mean, that's that's like what is it? that's a stone and a half in two weeks. A fantastic effort. Um, and I know she's struggling with it, and I'm struggling with it as well. I think sometimes I come across as being, this is easy peasy. And in fact, I've named my videos, this is easy peasy. It's not easy peasy. Uh, for a lot of people, it's extremely difficult. I tell you what I'm finding easy peasy is doing the diet when I'm not thinking about other things. And this is one of the major reasons why I haven't um, started making videos of, of recipes. At the moment, I need to concentrate more on sticking to the diet and less on thinking about other things that I could possibly eat. There's plenty of choice about, available for me and I think it'd be a, a foolish thing to do to start um, doing recipes for uh, chilies and curries and this, that and the other. Okay, so for the time being, no recipes. Congratulations once again to my uh, uh, follower who has been uh, pulling up trees with her teeth. Fantastic work. I know she struggles with it. And I struggle with it as well, but I, I, I really do feel that um, she deserves congratulations for what she's achieved. £22 in two weeks is phenomenal. I wish I could have done that. The thing to do with this Exanti diet 
you stick to it 100%, if you stick to it 100%, you're guaranteed to lose weight. You cannot, you couldn't possibly tell me after a week of 800 calories a day that you your weight stayed the same or that you uh, put weight on. Okay, so that's anyway, my lunch um, would be the soup and my evening meal above all the others and there's plenty of choice is this fella here. This is the dal pot. This one is the one that has got the line on the inside of the top, uh, the fill line. Me, um, I'd probably fill it up a little bit more than that I, because I think it makes a nice soup as well. There's some rice and lentils and this, that and the other and peas and carrots and I don't know, Brussels sprouts probably. <laughs> no, there wouldn't be Brussels sprouts in there. Oh, I'd never be able to get the thing anywhere in my mouth. Can't stand the things. Um, this, again, I, I put a little bit of my hot sauce in there. I think this is, a, and a lot of the meals are, are a good base to which you can add things. If you want to put a bit of paprika or salt, more salt and pepper or, or put a bit of hot sauce in there, then do so. When it comes to the bars, I'm a bit split with these. Uh, this, this salted caramel bar is by, way, by far my favourite, but... Behind that, if salted caramel bars were no longer available, chocolate fudge. How can you believe this is a diet? Uh, double chocolate and chocolate caramel. However, there was one, um, a toffee um, crunch bar, which was all seedy and uh, like Rice Krispies were all glued together with some form of syrup or whatever. And that was really good as well, so I really enjoyed that. I haven't had a bar yet and thought, eh. no, I haven't, they've all been great. In fact, the whole of the diet's been great. I don't really think there's been any particular meal that I've tried and I thought, no, I don't like that very much at all. And uh, they've all been pretty good. Um, I'm getting a bit top heavy with um, porridges and dals and bars simply because as you know I just did that £100 order or £99 order um, and because that's £2.70 and that's £2.50 if you're going to get them for a pound you better get that than get this and save yourself 69 pence so consequently I'm um, against now you have to go onto the website and you have to have a bit of a snoop around because it's all there for you do you, there's a discount if you work for the NHS, did you know that? There's a link for a referral scheme that they operate which gives you £5 off your first order. You'll find that written in the description below. There's also this, if you've got one of these, it's an NHS exemption card for being diabetic. I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you have this card, when you have this card, you have a 40% discount. 40% discount instantly off your order now i would imagine this is going to be one of these things where you can only use one discount code you could like take advantage of an offer and then apply a discount code i don't know i'm going to try it next time i order something and see what happens but have a good look through because that's really important i think you know when it comes to uh, your budget if you've got an exemption card you get 40 percent discount if you if you work for the nhs you get an, a discount as well if you use my referral scheme you get five pounds off your first order these are all pretty important things for you to remember all right now look i'm going to go uh, I, I intended this to be a short video and it's already around 10 minutes long um i'll probably edit three quarters of that out <laughs> anyway um take care of yourselves i'll let you know on monday how i've got on um i'm going to stick to the diet 100 percent from now on um, instead of thinking about other things that I could be eating um, and preparing recipes for the time being. As soon as I feel comfortable in doing so, um, then I will open up the floodgates to these recipes and we'll see what goes on. All right, take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye-bye. So here's that good news that I was going to tell you about. In addition to the 50 kilos that I want to try and lose, uh, I want to try and reverse diabetes because diabetes is something that if you're on the medication long enough, the medication will become useless and uh, blindness and amputations and all sorts of bloody horrible things can happen to you. I've been on this diet for four weeks with the intention of reversing diabetes and today I got a phone call having had my blood taken last week. Today I got a phone call from the clinician who has told me that I am now in the pre-diabetic zone.
inhibition of reversing diabetes appears to be working. So um, my wife said to go and celebrate with a slap up meal at the fish and chip shop or something. <laughs> That's probably not the right thing to do, is it? So um, I'm sticking to the diet even, even stronger and even longer. Uh, but fantastic news to be able to reverse diabetes and I'm well on the way towards doing that so I've now got to the stage where even where I am allowed to reduce my medication uh, so again cannot recommend this diet enough